What's good, YouTube? It's your girl, Asia. And it's your boy, BJ. And, and we're back, back like we never, never left. left. We appreciate you guys for pulling back in, hitting that thumbnail, and just uh, taking this journey, which is The Sopranos with us right now. Yeah. Uh, we're going to be jumping into episode three and four. Yes. And uh, pretty much like, kind of like where we left off at, kind of just to recap episode one and two, Tony is like, I just feel like he's like in, in, a, in a crossroads, like in a midlife crisis right now. You think that's what it is? To the point, yeah, to the point that he's like sitting down with a psychiatrist. I think he's just going through a lot. You know, but but maybe that, I guess that yeah. counts as like the midlife crisis. Like yeah. he's going through a lot. He's he's dealing with a lot of things, like different spectrum of his life. It's like you know, if it's not one thing, it's another. You know what I mean? That he yeah. has to worry about because it seems like he's a family guy at home. He still has all yeah. of that to do, yeah. and then he got like his little gangster life on the side. <laughs> you know, his offices, his business, the business, yeah. You know, being the waste management cleaner upper. Okay. <laughs> Clean it on up. <laughs> Whatever you want to call it. In, in addition to that, though, but like again, like with him being a psychiatrist, well, with, with him seeing a psychiatrist and sitting down and talking with her, it's like he got to be very, very touchy with what he says as well, too. So it's like he, you know, he's sitting down talking to the psychiatrist, and this is the part that was so funny to me. He's like, "Oh, I can't talk to her about that. Oh, I can't say nothing." I, oh. <laughs> No, I you know feel what like I'm I can't really tell you about. You I feel know? like he's talking to her in cold. Like he's when he said, like you know, he's talking about the waste management job, even and, when and he like was his business and stuff. Even like, when he was explaining the guy that, 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 that he, he took the guy to get a coffee, but he really ran him over with his car and beat right, him up right. over an unpaid debt. <laughs> and I was even like, when he ran him over and chased him down and ran him down <laughs> on the uh, on, on the bike on the jog pathway, I was like, hard. he definitely owe at least a couple of commas. <laughs> Which actually he owed about two hundred and fifty grand. So he was not about to play with that guy, okay? Yeah, like yeah. at all. But but that's what I'm saying. I I feel like he's just he does a lot. Like that's that you know for somebody that's kind of that lives a life. Or you see how he is at home, like with his kids yeah. and how he is with his wife and stuff. And it seems like he's yeah. a pretty wholesome guy. But then like in his little street life type of thing. It's like he's a whole different person. Yeah, and maybe that's and maybe that's part of it because he feel like he has to be, you know, he has to live like two different lives at right. different times. He has to be a certain way when he's at home. He has to have a certain bravado when he's around his guys. But it takes a lot. It takes a lot. Yeah. And he had a panic attack and passed out. <laughs> right. One time he had a panic attack and he didn't pass out. Right. But he almost passed out. Yeah. So when we, he was at his mom's house, right? When at his mom's house, house, yeah. Yeah. And then his father passed in, having to put his mother. In a nursing home you know, or in a it's retirement not a, it, home. It's not a nursing home. No it's call not it. a nursing home. Hey, don't say that around her. Right. She don't want to hear that. That is not what she wants. Yeah. You're right about that, babe. Yeah. She don't want to hear that. <laughs> but, yeah, that's what we're going to pick up at. Uh, and uh, we're about to pick up in episode three. Yeah. Yeah. We're getting in, y'all. Okay, we're going in. So yeah, we're going in for yeah. real, for I, real. I feel like we for just kind of got like a good introduction. There's not like a lot to dig into. We just kind of got a lot of the personalities of the characters of the Sopranos. So yeah. we're getting in. This one, I think I saw was called, uh, what like is it denial. Called? It's called denial, anger, and, ex and acceptance. It sounds like he's still sitting with therapy. Sit, so sit, it sounds like he's still sitting with a therapy because, <laughs> because, I, I, right. I, because you, you know, the, you know, those are the phases, denial, anger, and then accepting it. Right. Right. There you go. Okay. So make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. Let me move this up. Okay. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, smash that notification bell so you don't miss any videos yes, from Asia and BJ. Tap into the Patreon, y'all. We have all of our unedited, uncut videos as well as our TV series. We just completed Breaking Bad, y'all. We've jumped into Game of Thrones, Band of Brothers, and also The Sopranos, y'all. So yes. it is a great time. We got behind the scenes footage, Patreon posts, all that good stuff, y'all. So uh, make sure y'all sure join. In. Okay. Absolutely. And let's go ahead and jump into this video, y'all. You ready? Yes. All right, y'all. Here we go. Come on. Let's go ahead and jump into it. Yeah, you. What are you doing? We found this truck on the side of the road. Well, you might want to check it out. What's going on? Hey, that's the truck. The one that was stolen hey. in Newark? It's that's what I'm doing with Tony it. Soprano. Oh, they some real gangsters. Those are the fucking guys that killed Hector. <laughs> You're lucky Tony doesn't shove the cab up your ass. Okay. <laughs> Oh, yeah, they're not thinking straight. Because he they, will. They high as a kite right now. Well, there was some stuff missing from the truck, uh, but he said to tell Tony thank you and if there's anything Tony needs. Tony? They hijacked Conley's truck. I get it back. And old man Conley's thanking Tony? You should have taken care of this Christopher Maltasante thing the minute it first happened. 
fucking family. Uh oh. Here you go. It's nice painting. Look at the picture. Tell me what you see. <laughs> is it an abstract painting? What is it? Why is he looking at it like that? <laughs> I don't know. It's talking to him. What's that? A trick picture out there? <laughs> the barn and the old tree all rotted out inside. It's just a picture. That is a special made psychological picture. <laughs> that what do you call a test? The Korshak. What does that picture say to you? It says, hey, asshole, we're from Harvard, and what do you think of this spooky, depressing barn and this rotted out tree we put here? It's depressing and scary to you? Not to me, but it's got that built right into it. Mm. How are things? Good. A friend of mine's in the hospital. It's never pleasant, but otherwise I'm having a good week. Jackie's so fucking mean, he'll scare that cancer away. Your friend oh. has cancer. That's not good. You might be a candidate for clinical trials. Stump cell therapies, huh? Boy, you don't want to hear no more cancer talk. Now get the fuck out of here. <laughs> get out of here. Tony, you know that guy Titleman? Owns all that property. The Jew with the black clothes and the curls. They're called Hasidim. I see them, but I don't believe him. <laughs> What's he want, this Titleman? He wants a divorce for his daughter. Titleman's son-in-law will not give consent unless Titleman gives him 50% of his motel. Why don't he just, uh, it's, it's taboo for their religion. Pow, pow. I heard, I heard enough. Right, look, I'm getting kind of tired here. So is he really sick with cancer? Yeah, he's, a, he's really sick. Oh, I miss choir. That crash you all heard was Meadow Soprano jumping her cue. Miss Merritt, we're really exhausted from studying for SATs. Are you her lawyer? Oh. <laughs> Get kicked out of concert singers, and there goes our best extracurricular. Goodbye, Berkeley. So we don't sleep till after the SATs. Welcome to the neighborhood. Calm, you did not have to do this. We don't see each other like we used to, and I want that to change. Could this be Adi Buko? Hey, come on. Place looks good. Listen, you need some startup cash, you know, until the insurance settlement on a restaurant comes. There'll be an Italian president before I see any insurance money. They're putting us through a second arson investigation. Oh. Who would burn down a perfectly good restaurant? <laughs> Stupid. Right. <laughs> Who would? He would. <laughs> I could always be a plumber. Only one concept to master. Shit runs down here. Yes, it does. It runs down here and it runs down your leg. <laughs> oh, right, out, right outside the storefront again. In classic Italian mob fashion. This is my son. Look at his beard. <laughs> it's like curled. You tell they Jewish. Or is that his hair? That's his hair. What would you do if your daughter was abused by her husband? Talk to him. Yeah, in ball peen hammer. All right, 25%. He wants 50, we get 25. Look, 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 I don't understand. That's because I'm wait, not wait. talking to you. Do I have to shut the coil in here? Do I pass in late with the gate? Uh-oh. Give me what he I not want. Waited. And you have a deal. It's done. 25%. Look at these people with almost help and you will never get them out. That's a commercial, isn't it? <laughs> you know, they some Italian mobs who sitting outside the, the storefront. Yeah. Sitting at the table, sipping coffee or tea. We want to talk to you about your father-in-law. Oh, I'm sorry, he's not here. We want to talk to you about him and you. This little problem that you're having. Any problem I'm having with my family is none of your matter. So get out of here, huh? No, no, no. <laughs> Please, don't embarrass yourself any further. I'm not embarrassed. Uh... No embarrass. Oh! Listen to me, you weirdo fuck. You forget this 50% shit. You got nothing coming here. Fuck you! Fuck. Oh, say fuck teach him a lesson. Huh? That's how they say nothing. This is how I say nothing. Oh, my God. You rang? <laughs> Dang. Can you keep the decibel level down, please, for my husband? That, I'm serious. Nah, if we can't score some crystal, we're dead. What? Score some what? she said una there is fingerprints all over the brake front 
Hey, we need a housekeeper that, that can do that. <laughs> Instead of us having to clean this house all the time. Shoot, we have to do it that way every, every four days. <laughs> Get that, will you, babe? I'm the only one who has to go to work around here. The restaurant hostess, real tough work. It's your little cousin. <laughs> What are you doing here? Yeah, hello to you too. Yeah, why are they there? So what do you want, Meadow? Uh-oh. I want a cop. <coughs> Look, he... Him gonna swallow the smoke. What? what? I want to score some crystal. Yeah, you got money? Shut up, you ain't giving them shit. Why not? Your father will put a bullet in my head. Right? Two of them. Fine. Just thought I'd ask you before we went down to Jefferson Avenue. What about me? <laughs> Nobody's gonna say goodbye to me. Hell no. Nah. Look, yeah. <laughs> she said bye. Get that man a glass of water. <laughs> Isn't it better if she gets it from you with all that poison that's floating around? Oh, Lord, keep them away from Jefferson Avenue, please. What are you doing here so late? I had my kid stepped on a nail. I had to get him a shot. Just looking for my nurse's pin. I think you got the wrong room there, hon, because uh, you are not my nurse. Oh, she finna find you. I'm sorry, I just need to check some vitals. What are you doing? Hmm. <laughs> that seems to be working fine. Who sent her? Oh. 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 oh, yeah, please check that out, V. Look at he said. <laughs> Babe! You are a lot. <laughs> Look how he having a problem here. Oh. Oh, oh, it's okay, it's okay, it's a private part. He, said he, he should be saying, be my guest. <laughs> I got you, you can see your face. <laughs> <laughs> he played too much. That was nice of you to have a party for your friend. You're a doctor. What do you think about Jackie? I'd have to know more about his condition. It's in the intestines. And it's recurred. But you said he might go home. They're not operating? Well, it's next to something vital. From what you're telling me, it doesn't sound very good. From what I'm telling you? Well, what the fuck do I know? I'm not a doctor. This man has had chemo every day for three fucking weeks, and he still has every last hair on his head, and he's got a beautiful head of hair. You don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Ow. The tree in the painting, ride it out, you said? The fucking painting. I knew that was a fucking scam. He's still talking about the painting. You think everybody's lying to you while you're pulling scams on them. Fuck you. Why does he get so mad at her? He's just not ready to confront what's really bothering him. If anyone ever finds out you got this from me. Yes. Look at me. This is no joke. I don't think you want to see me dead. I got a cool hunter. You're the best. It's going okay though, I think, don't you think? Oh, do you like the food? So busy schmoozing, I barely had a bite. Charmaine! Charmaine! Come on over here. Look at you looking. Shut up! Shut up! Oh, they paid him another visit. He just, he just ain't, he just not have, uh-oh, not, uh-oh. He want that 50%. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh -oh. I can't get used to having all these strangers in my house. I cook like this. It reminds me of what I lost. It was like losing a limb. Sometimes I lay oh, in bed. Alright, stop the Z. Stop the Z. Okay, enough already. Shut up about it, you depressed fucking jerk. What the fuck do you know? <laughs> oh, that was not the right thing Look, to do. Look, he threw salami on his face. Motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Hit him with a muffin. Uh -huh. You fucking jerk. <laughs> <laughs> See what you get? You got it. <laughs> oh, this one. Get up, you stubborn fuck. Please. I don't like you. Yeah? You believe this prick? What do I get? You work for nothing? I don't think so. I say we force feed him his sombrero. That's it. Yeah. They're not trying to hear that. <laughs> oh, he's trying to fight back. No, 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 no. Oh. <laughs> is that a like a dough beater? Either that or or you the or, meat, the or, meat, yeah, the meat tenderizer, right? <laughs> the meat beater, whatever you want to call yeah. that thing. <laughs> <laughs> the meat beater. But it was the food, Manny. Everybody raved about it. Manny, something wrong? You got something on your mind or something? What could be wrong? Listen, sweetie. You guys will get back on your feet again. You'll see. Camilla, I'm fine where I am. I never wanted to tell you this. You were down at the show with your parents that summer. You and Tony were on the outs. One thing led to another. We started dating each other, and Camilla, I slept with them. Yeah. Ooh, ooh. 
Really, it wasn't for me. I mean, we both made our choices. I'm fine with mine. She about to. Is she about to? I think she about to. You just gonna let her walk off? Look, look, look. Look how she looking like. No freaking way. Oh, no, she did not. Oh. <laughs> Oh. Fair. I can't believe that. Wow. This fucking guy's trying to pull some bullshit, Tony. Hey, ZZ Top. The guy gave you the get, didn't he? I cannot. <laughs> it's business. It worked out. Yeah, it worked yeah. for me, Shmolo. What's that? What's that? Uh, for your considerable trouble. As the Talmud says. I don't give a shit what he says. You want to give your son in law 15% of the motel? You go ahead. Now we got you your get. You get us our 25%. Got it? My son was right. Godless clown. Oh. Oh. oh! I created a living golem! What the fuck is a golem? Some monster Frankenstein! Get the fuck out of here! Living death! <laughs> <laughs> Just from bad to worse. Now he ain't probably. He didn't even get the money right no, now. No, it don't look like it. Hey. One sec. He's losing his hair. Yeah. Aw. Damn. Oh, no, 2.7. Yeah, a fever. Hmm. He looks concerned. He looks tired. Mm-hmm. And here Tony is telling him all his problems, and he got way more things to worry about. Right. Way. So, what's really on your mind, Carrado? This Christopher Moltisanti. Christopher? What about him? They're slapping me in the face, and they're hiding behind Tony. Tony always loved Christopher like a son, and so do I, Junior. He put up my storm windows for me one year. But what do I do? I just let him and his felony kid piss on me in public? Maybe Christopher could use a little talking, too. The other one? I don't know. He didn't even care I was there. It's just him and that fucking cancer. It's like he's already gone. Yes. Oh, he's back. Somebody called me a Frankenstein today. <laughs> got him. <laughs> he succeeds. I mean, they're out there, but they got their beliefs, you know? They're not afraid of death. But Jackie, to see this strong, beautiful man just wither away to nothing. You can't do nothing about it. You wouldn't be the Hasids and their beliefs? All the shit's for nothing? And if all the shit's for nothing, why do I gotta think about it? That's the mystery, isn't it? Do you feel like Frankenstein? A thing? Lacking human feelings? Hmm, that's a good question. Mm -hmm. That'll make you think. I wanted to see what happened when he sat next to his wife. I did too. Oh, because cause she hadn't addressed that yet. <laughs> Hold on. Uh oh. <laughs> that happened. <laughs> did that just really happen? Oh, no, no. You're friends with Tony Schumacher, right? Metal wanted the crystal. If I didn't get it through you, to what's that Jefferson Avenue? Wait. They would have raped her. No, no, no. I don't want to die now. I am sorry. Please. Listen to me. I was trying to save her. Don't oh, shoot me. Don't shoot. It only has nothing to do with that. Oh. Wonder what it had to do with it. I don't think it had nothing to do with that. Why did they do that? I don't know. It, it, it got to do something with somebody. They, they found him. Oh, snap. Hi, Jack. Bye, Jack. No. Oh. Why is Dang. Why so bad? Dang, they just hardcore. They are so hard. Oh, in the bathtub, too. What's her name? Brennan? Brendan? But why, though? Is it, isn't that his friend? That's his uncle. Oh, yeah, because that was the guy that was in the car with him. And that was his son. 
that they had tied up on the dock. Yeah, I just don't know. We're gonna have to re. I don't know what happened with that. What did we miss though? Yeah, I'm gonna have to see exactly what it is. Yeah, Brennan, I'm gonna have to figure out exactly why they did that to him. I don't know. And why they ran up on the nephew too. It was something to do with Christopher. I think so. I think so too. Wait. Oh man. Oh, that last episode. So this is okay. <laughs> so, so like I said, he's going through a lot. Yeah. Oh, look at his kneecaps. No one followed me. Adriana, you wouldn't know it if they did. Like Tony Soprano's hiding in my back seat. Wait, go to me. I don't even know if it's Tony who's after me. You gave Crystal meth to his daughter. Which I'm not sure he knows. We just go to Brendan's, score some shit, and find out what the fuck is going on. But who would it be? You heard what he said. He said, let's go to Brendan's and score something. Oh. Wait, but isn't Christopher... Uh... Oh, <laughs> Now that's not Tony. Mm -hmm. Your mother blows. That's a real original message. <laughs> Maybe she does, right, Anne? Yeah. Then why'd you scarf up all the donuts she sent us at camp and you used to cry on her shoulder? <laughs> oh, come on, that's Tony Soprano's son. Come on. Hey, can break it up. Get him, get him, get him. Look how much smaller he looks, though. I know. I want a five minute cool down period right now. <laughs> cool down period? Cool down period. We never had those. We ain't never had those. It's called suspension. <laughs> <laughs> Corporal punishment. Right. Oh, thank you, baby. Don't forget to keep flossing. Sir? Why are you trying to avoid him? I'm having second thoughts. This whole thing, this whole arrangement. I mean, I come here, I tell you things, I don't know how safe it is. As long as I don't hear anything incriminating... You don't fucking get it. Just my being here incriminates me. Look, if I asked you about your life, who you talk to, who you trust... I'd have to take the fifth. Oh. It's cute. The fifth. Oh. <laughs> I, I'm sorry, I wasn't aware of what I was saying. I'm sorry. Chris sent me to pick you up. Chris? Why? Did something happen? Oh, something happened. Did Brenda get my poem? It's probably nothing. You told your old man, didn't you? Oh my god, you scared me to death. Some crankhead puke couldn't keep a mouth shut. What are you talking about? Maybe the friend said something. What did you tell your old man? About the meth, are you insane? Hey. He's worried about you. He's been asking where you've been, you asshole. I'm sorry if I hurt you. Remember like when you were little? I'll buy you one of those Happy Meals, all right? Where the fuck are you? He's trying to figure out exactly who sent the hit. Ma. What brings you here? Bunch of some macarons. Oh, they're too sweet. <laughs> <laughs> they're too sweet. I don't like the people here. You don't know the people here. You know, I don't see you trying to mix with the other ladies here. What do you care? Out of sight, out of mind. She said, why do you care? I wish the Lord would take me now. She say that every time she sees him. You know, I come in to get cheered up. You think that's a mistake? You being sarcastic. You want the macarons? I don't care. <laughs> well, what are you gonna leave them for? Leave some out for the lunatics. <laughs> but leave them here for everybody else, though. <laughs> Goodbye, Ma. And then she called them lunatics. Right. <laughs> Leave it out. Leave it out for the crazy people. Just right, right in front. Just, just out of in nowhere. Just in the middle of nowhere. What the hell are you doing? This place is an hour from my office. What are you, a woman? Get a bladder transplant. My mother lives here. <laughs> Why don't we meet down by your precinct? You know, the government would love a few pictures of us together. What do you got for me? Jennifer Melfi, MD. Yeah, her background, daily routine. I don't want to touch. I don't want to bothered. I just want to know the who, when, why. That's it. Usual fee. The next lost, Lieutenant. You're down too large. What you got in the box there? Macarons. <laughs> this is awful. I can't deal with this. Oh, it just went back from bad to worse. 
Oh. What kind of God? Hmm. Christopher. Where you been? What happened to you? Brendan's dead. What are you talking about? Fucking Uncle Junior. What are you doing? Mikey told me she's a made guy. Cocksucker didn't have the balls to do it himself. Contracted these fucking Russians and he killed my friend. Ooh, okay. So that's not his dad. Uh-uh. Brendan didn't deserve this. Don't try to talk me out of it. You can't touch Mikey. Your fucking uncle's pissing on your head. What do you expect me to do? If he tries to leave, you break his other neck. Did he say break his other neck? <laughs> <laughs> Is that what he said? Yeah. <laughs> that's what he said. What's the other neck? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> you might need to use context clues for that one. I don't know. Just trying to figure out. Uh -oh. he, what, what, did he get the staple gun or, the, or the, the screwdriver? The staple gun. At least that's what, that was what was closest. Got a ticket. How you doing, Mikey? How you doing? Oh. 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 Get him, get him. Look. Your suit's wrinkled. Here, let me fix it up for you. <laughs> Ow! What are you screaming about? Oh! Oh! He stapled this. Oh! He stapled the ticket to his shirt. He said, "This is overdue." Oh! <laughs> See, he's going. He ran up on his uncle now. Oh yeah, cause he was there. I'm here cause I love you, and I respect you. Don't pretend you're paying me respect. A son who throws his mother in an asylum. That's none of your business. Your friends, they interfere in my business. The truck and all that was made good to you. Your boys were warned, and still, they embarrass me. That's why they did it. What you did was extreme. I answered to bigger people than you, my friend. What's the matter with you? Why can't we talk like adults anymore, huh? Out. Next time you come in, you come heavy or not at all. Ooh. He said, come heavy or don't come... That's an ultimatum. That wasn't wow. a good conversation. He gave him an ultimatum. And he's like, okay, back to my big ziti. So they, they did that to them because remember they jacked the trucks. Right. Why are we following these people? And then they killed the guy too, remember? Right. So you broke it off with the poor schlub oh, after a week? He following her. Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> Something what like What did she that. do? Oh, they're getting pulled over. I think Tony just doesn't feel good about everything that he's telling Jennifer. So I, maybe he wants to, them to follow her, watch her, get information on her, something like that. I don't know. Uh-oh. That is not the police. License and registration, please. Oh, that's the police, all right. <laughs> I'm sorry. Step out of the car, please. Uh-oh. I don't believe this. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Open the trunk, please. Why? Well, I, I will not. You ever hear of probable cause? Yeah, that's a real good legal lead. What? You resisting arrest? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh they're gonna do about. Will you fucking do it? Oh. You can't do that. Get back in the car. Oh. Get back in the car now. Oh, he taking he taking this police thing way too far. And look, and then he stepped on him. DUI, resisting arrest, assaulting an officer. Do it. Now. <laughs> What's he? Dang. <laughs> oh man, he's a dirty cop. Don't you touch me. You got prime rib at home. I'll be going out for hamburgers. What? What are you talking about? I'm gonna call my lawyer, you. Fuck you! <laughs> Seeing a Randall Curtin tax lawyer. The country club type. Hey, what about her? She's in her office at 8 a.m., she leaves at 6. She orders up a tuna sub and a Diet Coke. She's divorced, one kid, 19. Outside of Schmucko, she don't get out much. But she does see a shrink. She what? What? Yeah, she sees a shrink. Oh, fuck me. Well, she don't fuck anyone, from what I can tell. <laughs> she left her blinds up. I got some of them Victoria's Secret type snaps. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> what do you got on Friday's games? I got three bills on Rutgers. That'll solve all your problems. So that's what he wanted. He wanted to kind of get the, get the scoop on her and what she got going on. Uh -huh. I heard Mike had to give up that nice suit. Get too attached to it. Oh, look, look at those lobsters. <laughs> oh, <Ooh>, babe. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. My uncle's a stubborn man. Oh, stubborn oh, enough to go to war? Gosh. What kind of what is that? There hasn't been a war since the Colombo thing. Jackie hadn't gotten sick. None of this would have happened. One of us captains got to step up. 
If I get control at the top, it's fucking up this whole family. Well, that's true. Why don't we run this thing like a council? You need a supreme commander at the top, not the fucking Dave Clock Five. <laughs> you and Junior are gonna have to duke it out. Number one, I love the man. Number two, he's got New York behind him. But he's living in the wrong century. And New York knows. I don't want no disturbance. I done seen it all. They they having wow. they having an expensive lobster dinner at the strip club. At the strip club. <laughs> you know, we go to a strip club, we get what like a chicken burger. chicken wings, <laughs> fries. Wait, babe, we never been to the strip club though. I'm just saying that's what they always got there though. Chicken wings. How you know? <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> you got any DDT back there? That stuff's legal, it's been banned. Surplus in the back, you go, you look. Look, Mrs. Soprano, yo, if I could do something, I would. Pia Costa, right? <laughs> what did he call him? Remember, boy? Pia Costa, that, that's the other boy's dad. Sure is. Did your kid still got that killer crossover dribble? Yeah, I guess so. That's going to get him a scholarship. No, he got so that. How's Anthony? He got an axe. <laughs> well, it was nice seeing you, Tony. I'll have uh, Carmela call Joni. We'll get together. Linda. Linda. But that's great. Tony, that's great. I'll see you around. <laughs> He's like, <laughs> he like, hell no. Nah. I'm about to go. Look, <laughs> you, you not going to turn me into chop salami. I'm going to get up out of here. I don't care. He said, I don't think they're close anymore. Trying to turn me into uh, some chop pros prosciutto. My uncle has got me in a box where I got to do something I don't want to do. What's that? And there's my mother. Pay four grand a month for this place, and she acts like I'm an Eskimo pushing her out to sea. She's testing. Same as your uncle. Like little kids. And fucking spank him, though. <laughs> Sometimes it's important to let them have the illusion of being in control. Hmm. Hmm. Chris, my man. Surprised to see me? Heard they took you for a little ride to the Meadowlands. He on Jefferson Avenue. So you got my cut? They came and took it. Who? Junior Soprano's boy. You let them do that? You out of commission. Yeah, you ain't got no job. You in the unemployment line. Oh, you sneaky motherfucker! Oh, shit! Oh! <laughs> With a neck brace. This is my corner. You pay anyone but me, I'm coming back for your thumb. Shoot, his neck ain't too bad. His neck <laughs> is not hurt too bad. Get your little yo-yo. <laughs> he sure was standing there with a smile on his face. He did. Sweep, kick, and steamroll. Game is over. Uh oh. He's coming. He got he got the forty dollars, I bet. Yeah, because his daddy didn't want no problem. Here. <laughs> what the hell is that? Just take it. <laughs> I knew you chicken out. <laughs> his his dad was scared to know him. Scared. Oh yeah. He's real scared of you. What's that supposed to mean? They told me I'm leaving. They wanted. They just wanted to see a fight. People used to run to a certain spot to watch people fight after school. Like, gosh. See his dad again. His, his dad. His dad made that happen because of his dad's reputation. Right. One of Gangland's youngest alleged leaders died late this afternoon. Not at all. Not a musical. Authorities called April the acting Please. boss for the North Jersey Mafia. April was 44 years old. Thank you, Heather, for that live report. God damn it. I was just there. He told me he wouldn't go today. I'll never forget where I was this day. <laughs> the fact that she's standing there with no clothes on, talking about I'll never forget where I'm where I was this day. Right, where I was at. Tate, you hear what happened? Just now. That's not all. I go to make a pickup. He says it ain't my corner anymore. It's Junior's. Christopher, this ain't the time. They're moving in. I say we go to DEFCON 4. I gotta assess this, all right? What are we, politicians? Why don't you shut the fuck up? It doesn't concern you. Yes, it is. I represent you, and I'm tired of putting my tail between my legs. They like. <laughs> you don't do something, I gotta question your leadership. Oh. You ungrateful little fuck. Ah, I'm just saying how it is. Rip your fucking head off and finish the job. You're the boss. That's right, I am. And you're lucky a man I love died today. Today is not the day to say something like that. <laughs> right. To Tony Soprano. <laughs> Here we go. War of 99. We should go with 
You do what you told. Bring it told. Let's just throw this whole day in the can. This whole day has just been horrible. Right. This whole day has been bad. Uh oh, that's not good. That can't be good. Be back at the I'm restaurant. I need to talk to you. He said next time he come down there, he need to come heavy. I came in heavy, like you said, but I don't want to use it. See? <laughs> okay. Our friend Jackie has died. I heard. Now we need a leader. We do. And I don't want any confusion or misunderstanding. Yes. Sopranos have been waiting a long time to take the reins. That's why I want it to be you, Uncle Joe. This is your decision? It is. Come here. You're crazy. <laughs> she drool. You had me worried. Oh, I thought he was going to do something crazy. No. Mess with a guy like you? What are you, been pumping iron? Look at you, strong as a bull. Hey, call Parcells. Give this guy a try out, huh? <laughs> He said, call Bill Parcells. <laughs> you know I can't be perceived to lose face, right? So, Bloomfield and the paving union. My asking price. Oh. oh, he did do something crazy. Congratulations. I mean, that was a good meeting, I think. We'll see, cause his uncle don't play neither. Oh, at, at all. Leo Costa, he's such a poser. No one. He backed out. Phil Lito said, "Yeah, he's real scared of you." Duh. What do you think Dad does for a living? Waste management. <laughs> Oh, he probably, he probably really don't know. Look, she finna actually show, like, what, she finna go to Google? <laughs> Look. I'll print the... it out for you. My... What? Make a box of bad guys. Ah, Look at that. Now he probably doesn't think that. His sister bust the bubble. Mm -hmm. Blew his little cover. Sorry. You okay? I guess I'm out of touch with the the casual violence. Your voice is all tight. My friend got beat up by a policeman, no less. Oh yeah. Oh, it was a nightmare. Wow. <laughs> he was raving. Prime rib, hamburger. It was surreal. Fucking moron. Let me look at. Sounds like this guy, a fucking moron. My friend's filing suit. But the worst part of it is, my relationship with him will never be the same. Sorry. Oh, it wasn't your fault. Yes, it was. <laughs> you still have your doubts? About therapy? No, no, no. Give it another chance. Got a lot of good ideas here. <laughs> you know how to cope. Oh, wow. Tony Soprano is a cold, smooth operator. Look at her. She's content. Thinks she's the king of kings. Truth is, every decision is made by me. Point is, he's got the title. He's a happy fucking camper. The house is secure. Only now we got a brand new lightning rod on top to take the hits. Very smart. <laughs> oh. Look at him. You can tell he got a lot of questions. And look how she looking like, see, I told you. Wow. I wonder how that makes him feel. All right, Peter, Jackie. Oh, I can tell you. I, I, I can tell you how he, how he feel right now because... You know, he's Tony Soprano's son, so he kind of has that that young kid bravado for the simple fact that now he knows that he that like his dad is part of like something like that. Yeah, that he knows he's something like that, and then also just him fighting the kid too, just knowing that he don't really, you know, kind of kind of took his confidence away. You think that that 
and, I don't think that's and, and took like the like the respect that he would have like with the other kids that was around him too. Right. Wow. wow like wow. for him doing what he did, like by running into him at wherever he was, it looked like they were at a like a, at a nursery or something, or something like that. Yeah, yeah. Some, something along those lines. But but yeah, Tony Soprano has a lot going on in his life. I don't know how he maintains everything that he has going on and still maintains a like a straight face. That's the reason why he in therapy. I feel like he has a lot to do, like a lot to do, a lot to take care of, a lot to worry about. A lot to deal with. A lot to, you know, he got to worry about his safety. He has to worry about everything that's going on around him, like the his operation freedom. that he does. Yeah, the, his freedom, his the money, the, then he has his household. But, you know, not only that, but now like his wife is also like feeling a certain type of way because that, that lady told him. You know that, that, that she, oh that, that they had the fling and everything too. Yeah, yeah. I just wonder how all that's gonna pan out too. You know, but I, I'm wondering too when he when he was talking to his to Uncle Jackie and he said you know about Bloomfield and the Union. Yeah. I'm thinking that he's talking about like uh, Bloomfield, New Jersey, U Union, New Jersey. Like maybe like running that like he still gets a chance to like run that territory or yeah. something like that. That's I, what I, I think that's what he was referring to. Yeah. So he was giving him that too. But but yeah, I thought I I, I kind of felt like something bad was gonna happen regarding Brennan and and Tony's um right. and Tony's nephew just for the simple fact that they was like hitting the trucks and stuff like that. And then when they hit that one truck then that really killed, wasn't even authorized, the and they killed the yeah. truck driver. Yeah, I kind of felt like something was gonna happen Come because they around. did it in broad daylight. Right. You know, right? And it's like whenever you're dealing with like mob business like that, and, yeah. and you're dealing with the mob, it's like. You know, if if you're doing anything that's gonna get anybody caught up or caught up in the jam, they are gonna clip your wings. Well, not only that, but then when they took it back, it was almost like they took it back and laughed about it. Like, ha, ha here's the truck, you know, like honking the horn, you know. And that's why the guy was saying those are the people who killed whoever it was that was in that truck. The and truck they, driver, and yeah. they remembered that, yeah. So it was gonna come back around. It wasn't like they was just gonna drive out. I know, but I didn't think that it was gonna thing. come back to them like that, though. Hey, babe. Come on, if you you in that business like that's, that's the business. True. That's business, okay. That that <laughs> that's nothing personal. That's business, okay. You you take one of mine, I'm gonna take one of yours. Period. Yeah, and then <laughs> and then the whole thing with the nephew, you know, you know, giving the drugs to Meadow and her friend. I was like that. Yeah. That's a bad look. That's the, another you know, thing. Yeah. I, I'm, wondering, I'm wondering what's gonna happen with that. What's gonna be the blowback eventually with that? So you already starting to see kind of like the calm before the storm. Right. It's like you. It's like we kind of in the midst of the storm, but it's like the calm before the storm because you already seeing Tony and Carmela like yes. like the the marriage is kind of on the rise. So like you said, I, I I see why he's having a midlife crisis. Why he's <laughs> sitting at a psychiatrist a couple of times a week. Right. And sitting down with her. And 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 now with with Dr. Melfi, now he like creeping into her her life and yeah. and, and kind of like getting her involved to a degree. Not necessarily getting her involved in his matters, but getting her involved to the simple fact that now he's like trying to figure out what she got going on, yes. what what she, right. what she spends her time when she leaves this, because you know. But why would you think that he would be following her like that? But I think for the simple fact that uh, he's just trying to make sure she's not out like talking. Like, but who would she be telling? She's you just not never in know. the same circle as he is. Like, she's doing her own thing, like, living I, her own life. I think for the simple fact that when he went to the doctor's office to see her, yeah. he saw somebody else that he does business with, another acquaintance, a street acquaintance. Oh, right. And so, it, like I said, I just feel like he's just trying to tie up all his loose ends and just, 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 keep, just keep the lines of communication open so if anything's happening or... If she's doing anything in her personal life that she might be going and divulging and talking about but I Tony if and what he like does. A, if he was like the ops or something, because the way he reacted to do what he yeah. had, to go to the length of what he did. <laughs> the ops. Yeah, it was the ops, okay? But it, and it was the way that he looked at him when he when he said, when he he saw him, you know what I mean? He like, started hiding and stuff. Right. But then again, I, I think he did, he didn't want him to know that he was there seeing a psychiatrist. So even if it was somebody that he was cool with, Still, the fact that he didn't want nobody to know what is what he what where he's spending his time at during the day with a psychiatrist too, because the other guy went to the dentist office. Right. Yeah. He's and, and Tony's there to see a psychiatrist, so I don't know if it's if it was necessarily an op or an opposition. I think it was just somebody that he knows an acquaintance, and he just didn't want them to see him because you know Tony is up here. He he's kind of up the. He's too big to be. Trying he's up. To get he's up help. the. He's up the okay. food chain to a degree. <laughs> yeah. But. but I got to tell y'all, I think that was a very smart move for him to go ahead and kind of succeed to Uncle Jackie and let Uncle Jackie kind of have that title and everything, too, so you don't ruffle any feathers. And, 
and, and any, you know, any other issues or cause any any other haywire to go, you know what I mean? But I just think that that's, I don't know, because Tony, Tony like. is very slick. I mean, you heard her yeah, say Yeah, he's slick. He slick has, in oil. Right. And the way that he moves, it's almost like he thinks two steps ahead, like, every single time. So I feel like he did something, like, he did what he did, but it was also... Probably, I don't know. I don't know. We're going to have to see. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to have to see. I mean, yeah. granted, that's his uncle. He just said, you know, I love that man. But I I don't know. I just feel like he always up to something. Yeah. <laughs> he always up to something. He always got something going up, like, up his sleeve. It's always something going on. Like, I can't say it's just bad, but it's just like, mm, we'll see why he put him in that position. We'll mm -hmm. see if it was really... A good thing like was he being honest in, in his mood had all you know pans I mean? and, and we saw them at the funeral kind of talking amongst themselves to him and his crew <laughs> about about him putting uncle jackie but you saw the other guy that was next to him was like we still need to make sure we do x y and z and right you know so yeah, yeah like you said like like you said it, it that's a power move might not look like a power move right now but, but you see the power that his uncle has too like like i said he, he, can, he can make stuff shake he about that okay he, he not scared <laughs> either okay? he can make stuff shake and yeah, we're talking shake and bake yeah, so, the, but the fact that Tony walked in there with a gun, like, strapped up like that to go see his uncle, I was like, okay, yeah, okay, yeah, I'll, yeah. hey, that's the uncle, and he went in there like that, like, okay, you, but you the, could, try but, me if you want to. Right, but the uncle told him, too, he said, next time you come through, you better come heavy. <laughs> Don't play. Stuff might go down over you, there. You, you, but that's not really his, that's not even really his real uncle, I don't think. Oh, right, because the girl said, his daughter said. Why do you think we call him uncle? He's not really related. Right, 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 right. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay, Ooh. okay, okay. <laughs> but yeah, so, I'm so already enjoying this. reason why I'm just like, yeah. okay, yeah, he put him in that position, but he know what he's doing. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And, and I'm already kind of like, again, just like picking up on everything as far as like how all these different characters are moving, how... How everybody's kind of interchangeably working yeah. uh, within the mob, but I I'm enjoying everything that we're watching right now. Yeah. As far as uh, the Sopranos, yeah. this is getting good. Same. It's getting good. ZZ Top, y'all can't. Oh okay. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> because from yeah. even from that like from that angle, I was like, he is a mess. Just get that man a good talk. I literally and caught he him in the exact angle where yeah. you would be thinking, uh, uh no, he did not. They should have gave him a good talk. <laughs> you you wouldn't have known the difference. Just Okay, y'all, but if y'all enjoyed this, be sure you give us a big thumbs up, like, comment, and subscribe, smash that notification bell so you don't yeah. miss any videos from Asia and BJ, and if ain't nobody else told you, I love you, and we're gonna see y'all in the next video, y'all, bye. Peace out, y'all. Yeah, y'all.